okay, let's try this again. I had to restart my video because my cat decided to knock the palette off that I was using and <laughs> broke it everywhere. But, uh, excuse my puppy eyes, my baby kitten died this morning, so I was a total ball bag, but I said I would do this video. So, I was asked specifically to do a video on, um, how to make both eyes look symmetrical. And as you can see, my eyebrows, this one's higher than this one, and this eye is open more than this one. Most people say they can't tell unless I point it out. Obviously, I can. I had a stroke um, back in 2012 and paralyzed the whole left side of my body and the muscles in my face never fully came back. So this eye is kind of lazy. And uh, this eye is not hooded at all, but this eye is. So what I'm going to do is um, make this eye look more open to match this one. But it has to do with your whole face. So I'm going to start with um, my eyebrows. Uh, this one I don't really have to make thicker. This one I actually have to draw it up a little bit to make it match. My eyebrows still end up being a little bit off anyway, but it definitely helps um, the illusion to make both my eyes look the same size. So let's start with this. Which if you don't do your brows for the right side, I just follow directly underneath my um, actual eyebrow line. And then I take the smallest hairs on the top and follow that line and make it more pointed just because that's how I like my eyebrows, like this. But my eyebrows are pretty light, so I'm going to fill this part in right here. And then just a little bit in the front and then uh, I'm going to use a, a stay put brow color to fill in the rest. Okay, so now that that part's done, I'll go ahead and draw this side on. So I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to start um, where the actual eyebrow line starts right here. Then I'm actually going to go up into my eyebrows like that. And bring it down and then for this side um, I do the top on the back first uh, just because I have to draw it on and as you can see I don't have any hair there but it's gonna make it match the side and once I add that stay put brow color you can't really tell the difference. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to be using the Milani Brunette Stay Put Brow Color. It looks like this. It makes my eyebrows match my hair. Um, I use a little brush like this. It's already matted down with this because I use it every time I do my eyebrows, but um, I'm going to do the side where I had to draw it on first so you can kind of see it. Um, I start at the narrow end and fill that all in so it's super dark. And then I take the rest of what's on the brush and just blend it into the hair that I already have. Then I get just a really, really thin line on the brush and trace that line that I drew on. I have to dip a few times to get it dark enough to where you can't tell that there's not actually any hair there. And then just kind of blend that all in together. See, now this eyebrow looks like it's super thick, and I know that it's messy right here, but we're not done yet, so bear with me. Let me fill in this side, and then I'll get back to it. See, that has already helped a little bit. This eyebrow still looks a little bit thicker, but after I use the spoolie to comb my eyebrows up, um, I always use concealer or... It's really supposed to be a highlight. So I use this 
highlight um, as a concealer for my eyebrows and to shape them even more the way that I want. That's why they still look a little messy right now. But I'm going to take this spool and kind of um, brush this in so it looks more natural. But then I also brush them up. Well, not straight up, at an angle. So it looks more natural and it goes straight into the crease over here. So then I can just fold those bottom ones down. Now it doesn't look like my eyebrows are painted on. See, and that makes that look much better. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to do a line directly below and above my eyebrows on both sides. This eyebrow brush that uh, is from ColourPop, it works very well. It's very small. And I'm going to get some of the highlight on it. And then I'm going to trace the line that I drew to make it even more precise. I have to be really careful when I do this to the top because there's not actually any hair there. So I have to make sure I don't cover the product. And then I just take the little bit and kind of um, whiten the wild eyebrow hairs that I have right in the front because I need to, they're not even. Okay, now that I have that all done, I'm going to do this side and then I'm going to blend it all out. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have that done, they look almost the same and that has already helped in making this eye look more lifted. So now I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade White Pearl and I put that everywhere all the way up to my um, brow bone just because it makes all the colors that I put on pop more. Okay, now that I have that done, I am going to keep it really simple and just use um, nude brownie colors. So I'm going to use this Dose of Colors palette that I have and it's only got five shades in it. And yeah, as you can see, my cat kind of messed it up when she knocked it on the ground. Well, my daughter's cat, but so I'm going to take this light shade and put it all over my eye as kind of a base. So um, it'll help the other colors that I put on really pop. Now that I have that done, oh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but the name of this palette is uh, Baked Browns by Dose of Colors, and holy wow, I don't know if it's because my cat knocked it on the floor or not, but there is a lot of fallout, so be very careful if you have this palette. So now I'm going to use Elf's Eye Crease Brush, looks like that, and I'm going to go in with this light brown color first and kind of build up to the darker colors. Yeah, I definitely think it's because my cat knocked it on the ground because this shade is trying to break on me. So I'm going to tap that off, make sure I don't make a huge mess. So I'm going to start with this eye since um, this is the bigger eye and I'm trying to make this one look bigger. So I have a natural crease with this eye. So I'm just going to take this color and put it right in my natural crease. I'm going to blend that upward. Uh, this is a whole lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. And I'm not going to worry about my eyelid right now because we're going to add the color onto that when we're done with this. Now I have that down, I'm going to do the other side. So, this is easier for me than it would be to make this eye look smaller. So, as you can see, I have um, a hooded eye on this side. There's no crease like there is on this side. So, what I'm going to do 
is I am going to um, take this color and put it a little bit above where the fold of my eye is to make a crease per se. And I don't care if it's messy right now because I'm going to go in and define it with one of the darker colors in a little bit. As you can see, now that helps even more making my eyes look the same. And when I lift my eyebrows, you can see that this one is all the way down in the crease, whereas this one is up a little bit above it. But then when I look normal, they look the same. So I'm going to use the same brush and go into this next shade right next to it and I'm going to go over the same area and blend it a little bit make it a little bit darker other eye and I always love to uh, use the darkest color in the crease because it just makes your eyes look deeper set I guess if I don't have any dark color in the crease, I feel like my look just isn't complete. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to take this little pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the darkest shade here. Very lightly because I don't want any fallout. Okay, and with this, with this eye, I'm going to go directly into the crease, keep it dark, and I will use a blending brush in a little bit to smooth that out. Okay, now that I have that one line done, I'm going to go in with the same brush on the same side, and I'm going to put it down here um, in the corner of my lid to... Blend it in a little bit, give it a smoky eye look. Okay, now for the more complicated side, I have to draw in a crease, um, make a fake one, make it look like it's real. So with this side, I have to be really careful. So I'm going to take it right where the bottom of this light color is to make it look like I have a crease on this eye. Okay, now that I have my fake crease drawn in, I'm going to do the same thing and make a smoky eye on this side. Now that I have that done, and don't worry about under my eyes, I will make that lighter in a minute. So, I'm going to take the e.l.f. blending eye brush, which looks like this. And I'm not going to add any product to it, and I'm going to blend out the darker color so it's not so harsh. Okay, now that I have that blended out more, looks better, I can go ahead and add some color to my eyelid, which I'm going to go in with this darker color first. <clears throat> well, reddish, the darkish red color. And just gently sweep that across my eye done I'm going to take this small elf um, smudge brush and go back to this white color and put it um, on a third of my inner corner just to make that pop we're done I'm going to take the same brush with the same color and Use it to even out under my eyes. 
Okay, now that I have that done, I feel like I still look ridiculous because my under eyes are still so puffy, but oh well. I'm going to use the same brush and go back to the darker color and make the transition to the dark smoky eye more defined. You guys know I normally use uh, pops of color, so <laughs> it has been a very long time since I've done only browns. I'm going to go back in with this blending brush, not put anything on it, but um, blend the different colors on my eyelids. All right, now that I have that blended in, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop blending brush, which I had not used yet. Go back to that lightest color, put it directly under my eyebrows, and um, blend this darker brown in a little bit because I didn't expect that to be that pigmented. All right, now that I have that done, that looks better. I should be done with eyeshadow altogether. Now, time to do eyeliner. Tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Beauty Glazed Extremely Black Waterproof Eyeliner. And the trick here is to do a thinner line on this eye and a thicker line on this eye to make it look like they're even to where this eye is more open. Now that I have that done, I think they look pretty even. Um, this eye definitely looks as open as this one. As you can see, it's a thinner line here and definitely thicker over here, but it makes them look even. And not everybody does the waterline, but I like to because I feel like it makes the eyes pop more, even though sometimes it'll make them look um, more closed. But I'm going to go ahead and do mine so you can see how I would do a full face. So yeah, I always just think it makes the eyes pop more. Just my personal preference. But now for mascara, I always use two. I use... So first I use their um, soup, IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Then I use their Hello Lashes. Um, the key here is to put more on this side. I usually put a second layer and only one layer on this side um, to give my eye the look of being more open. And I do not use eyelash curlers because my eyelashes are already long and curled as it is. So let me go ahead and put these on and I will show you what I mean. Okay, now that I have that done, you can see what I mean about my eyelashes. Anytime I try to curl them and then put mascara on, I end up getting the mascara all over my eyelid and then I have to redo that. So it is a huge pain, so I just don't even bother with it. But I put two layers on this side and one on this side and now to me, Definitely looks like this eye is as open. Okay, my video stopped working on me, so hopefully that didn't screw it up. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. And then I will show you the finished product. And then that will be the end of this tutorial. Okay, and this is the finished product. This is how to make your eyes look symmetrical. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you for the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked my video down below.